All right, it's been a little bit since I filmed anything and it's Saturday evening as I start this. And we're getting ready to go to dinner. We're going to my wife's favorite place in the world. What's it called, babe? Stogner's Fish Camp. Stogner's Fish Camp. If you're ever in small town Mississippi, Stogner's Fish Camp is an experience you have to experience. It's a fish camp. It's a restaurant. They sell fried catfish and all sorts of goodies like that. They got 4.4 stars out of a bazillion reviews. Do they? Yeah, I saw that yesterday. We actually went there for dinner last night and we're going back again today. Old small town Mississippi. You blink, you miss it. This is a one stoplight type of town right here. Small town living and their one grocery store closed down. Pretty crazy. So we leave tomorrow to start heading back home and was I supposed to turn right there? No, no, go straight. And it'll be another two day trip to get back home. And to be honest with you, we've spent this entire trip, it feels like, up inside of this 2022 Forerunner, which had about 5,700 miles when we started this trip. And currently it's got 7,256 on it. I read a comment, somebody had said, you've got $100,000 in vehicles and you're taking a rental. And, you know, no disrespect or no discredit to your comment, but you answered your own question with your comment. If you're going to travel over a thousand miles and you're going to be driving it, having a rental car with unlimited miles on it is going to be the way to go. You don't want to put those miles on your own vehicle. Put them on a rental. That's what they're for. And, you know, a road trip is definitely going to take a toll on a vehicle. The roads suck. Drivers suck risk the rental not your own personal vehicle that's my philosophy and you know we've taken good care of this thing this thing has been great it's been great on gas it's been a comfortable riding vehicle it's been good for exactly what we've used it for to travel as fast as we possibly can to get to where we're going we've driven 90 pretty much everywhere oh joe that's too fast the speed limit's 70 though somebody would say to me yesterday you ever been on the open road you ever done that Ain't nobody going 70. They're all going 80 plus, mostly 90. Um, but neither here nor there. I wanna say one thing and gosh almighty, I wanna say so many other things. You know, I learned that there's, you know, a difference between a vacation and a trip. And you know, that should be a given. Not every trip is gonna be a vacation. Not every, not every vacation is gonna be a trip. But not only is there a major difference between a vacation and a trip, there's also, you know, a good trip and a bad trip. And though this trip has not been a horrible trip, this has not been a great trip by any stretch at all. You know, my wife comes down here to see her family and see her family we've been able to do to a certain degree, but there's just been a lot of outside variables that have sort of fucked this up. You know, I got stuff going on with my family. There's stuff going on with other stuff. It's just uncontrollable circumstances, and that's what we got. I don't want to, you know, say that I regret this at all. This was a, a make or break moment for me and my wife, as she would say. <laughs> Being stuck in the vehicle with me for... <laughs> 14 hours. Shit, it's been longer than that. It's been five oh. days by the time it's all said and done, but we've made it. You know, I think this has done nothing but help us and not that we needed much help but uh you know you would have wished the trip would have been better i would have wished the trip would have been better uh but you know not gonna not gonna bitch about or cry about it we got this opportunity to take this trip we've gotten to eat my wife's favorite food twice um that's the only reason i came you know we got to see her grandparents she hasn't seen her grandparents and god knows how long i got an opportunity to meet the grandparents they loved me it was uh, man, just a humbling experience meeting her grandparents. These folks are 93 years old, about to be 93 years old. They've been married for 60 plus years. God only knows, I mean, maybe even longer than that, 70 plus years probably. And, you know, these are people who have seen it all and don't care nothing about technology. Gosh, somebody, we got right, right? Mm -hmm. It's just so crazy to meet people who have just seen the world in ways that none of us could ever imagine. So if anything came of this trip, 
You know, we got the opportunity to see her grandparents. I got the opportunity to meet them. I got the opportunity to see her college, uh, you know, where my wife went to school at, Old Miss. Got the opportunity to see her, the rest of her family and just try to make this the best that we can. Other things that have, you know, caused this trip to not be the greatest. I haven't been able to film as much as I would have liked to. And one reason for that, I didn't really have the motivation when I knew I was dealing with not great hotel internets and slow internets and whatever you just got to work with what you got folks I'm not sure if you can see it or not this is the infamous Stogner's fish camp where we're getting ready to go eat at again an absolute gym yeah in a small town where there's not a lot of food options hey this is the winter winter chicken dinner right here you know there's only three places to sit down and eat here Unless you include Sonic. Yeah, well, you can't really sit in there. But uh, we're going to go enjoy the mess out of this. Yeah, we are. They're not even that busy. That's because it's 5.30. <laughs> Old Stockners. Don't you come over here, dog, because I'll be taking your ass back to Virginia. All right. Hey, thanks, babe. Oh, shit, I left the lights on? All right, anyways, we just did Stogner's Fish Camp, my wife's favorite place in the world to eat. And what a good place. Good damn food. All fried catfish, fries, hush puppies. And they're relatively cheap in there. I mean, for, you know, what it is, they give you a ton of food. They give you the biggest damn drinks I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the lemonade is straight diabetes, nothing but sugar. Oh, I better get going. Can you hold that, man? But I want to tell you a crazy story. This happened last night, but it happened to me again tonight. Almost happened to me again tonight. So anyways, we go in there last night. It's, you know, my wife's entire family. We're in there. There's probably eight of us in there. Uh, everybody's eating, whatever. We're having a good old time. It's time to go pay the bill. You got to walk up to the front to pay the bill. So I, I get the check. Hey, we got it, you know. So I'm going to pay the bill. The bill is $112, which is super expensive for this place. Uh, because I, again I say they're very affordable and I even bought a little visor a little sun visor that said Stogner's fish camp on it the visor was three bucks I mean come on now but do you know a hundred and fifteen dollar check they got the nerve to tell me sir Ooh. oh god sir cut them off because you know you're going to there you go it's a two dollar fee to use a, a, a debit card. I said, you got to be crazy. I just got a visor too and the bill's $115. I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking, right? I was like, yeah, sure, no problem, whatever. Tack on that two bucks. So here's what I was telling my wife tonight. I said, man, I got a mean business idea. We're gonna go get an ATM machine. We're gonna talk to the owner who's a millionaire in that place. There's no doubt in my mind that man's a millionaire because every time we go there, that place is mobbed. It weren't busy yet, but Guaranteed tonight they're gonna make ten thousand dollars or maybe like five or seven we're gonna go buy us an ATM machine those ain't too bad go get an ATM machine stock that joint up we're gonna charge 250 every time you use the ATM I'm gonna give the owner a dollar which ain't even gonna be worth it because he's charging two dollars for the damn <laughs> card fee but I figure maybe it'd be better you know, maybe he wouldn't care so much. I, I don't know. You know, fuck it. We split the ATM fee with the owner. And, uh, you know, he can take all cash, which is probably what he wants. He probably... Oh, damn, that was some crazy lightning. He probably don't want cards. He probably wants all cash. If I can help you get all cash, let me make a dollar off of every transaction. Here's the other benefit to this. Yeah, you might be losing a dollar by me taking a dollar. But I'm going to tell you like how my barbershop does business. One of the few barbershops that I go to. These folks only take cash. They got their own ATM machine in there. The ATM charges $2.50. Might even charge $3. Everybody who... Right here. Everybody who goes in there gets a, a haircut, and the haircut's $26. To pull out money, you got to pull out $40 because they only let you pull out 20s at a time. So everybody goes in there, they pull out $40. And ain't nobody asking for cash back when it comes to giving that girl that tip or whoever's cutting your hair. So ain't nobody asking for cash back. So you're gonna make more money off the off the tips. 
you're gonna make more money off the tips because everybody's gonna be everybody's gonna be tipping more is what i think but at a restaurant you want cash back damn right i want that cash back all right because uh you know we're only here for one more night we're gonna hit the old piggly wiggly there ain't nothing like it <clears throat> this joint about to be oh i was about to say it's about to be jumping but it's not at all not at all hi anyways just wanted to share that story about the two dollar charge and my idea for atm machine all right probably looks exactly the same as when i was filming last except now it's not sunny got a little bit of rain and it's sunday morning sunday morning at 8 32 in the morning and we got 572 miles to go leaving from my wife's hometown stayed here for about 36 hours and babe how was it amazing trip if a picture's worth a thousand words me and my wife had a good time we made the most of it that we could make and a lot of outside variables just you know tried to take away our sunshine like the weather but it is what it is it was a good building experience for me and my wife team building exercise <laughs> and uh we did we did great we did great but gotta be honest i'm glad to be hitting the open road first thing smoking this morning uh not literally smoking but first thing this morning ready to get home miss the dogs miss the cat miss the house miss the grind you miss the animals i miss them so much well we'll be back before you know it babe it's only 16 hours do you we... think that they think we abandoned them <laughs> no nah, we left them and very good company all right so we're gonna break this trip up into two days we got eight hours till we get to the first destination we'll be going to greenville south carolina outside of uh, outside of atlanta a little bit further from atlanta and a little bit closer home for us we're gonna be staying at a holiday inn express there and then tomorrow we'll be driving for i think six hours and some change so I told my wife before I started filming right here, I said, you know what, if nothing else, this, this trip has just been the ride. So let's at least make that really nice. All right, we on the road. Let's hope for safe travels and a nice relaxing ride back to our neck of the woods. Getting gas, the story of my life on this trip. Probably filled up 10 times so far. Maybe something like that. Drinking a shit ton of black coffee. Uh, this is like my third cup today, maybe even my fourth. I uh, got my trucker news. Find us our next, our next rig, our next tractor. Whatever they refer to him as. I, that's what I feel like on this ride. I feel like a damn over-the-road trucker, and I like it. Damn, I like it. All right, so it's 10.30 in the morning. Wifey's stretching her legs. I think it's 10.30. It's 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. We haven't crossed over the time zone just yet. We should be getting ready to do that. We're getting ready to cross over into Alabama, and it goes Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, home. Today we're gonna do Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina. A good, a good portion through South Carolina also. So we just got gas and we've got 440 miles to go. Six hours and three minutes to go. And we getting ready to get, get going back on the road um nothing too exciting so far uh the shit you see on the open road where do i go like whatever what is it telling me to do uh, go down in front of the road i'll probably go back that way yeah just see what it tells me to do am i resuming my route resume in a quarter of a mile Turn right on Airport Street. Boulevard. 
Okay. Not a four-way stop. Yeah, the shit you see on the open road, uh, you know, sadly enough, I see a lot of dead animals. Deer, um, I saw a turtle, uh, <laughs> rabbits and squirrels, but the craziest shit that I've seen so Turn far. Right on Airport Boulevard. And use the right lane to exit right to I-59 North, I-20 East, Port Tuscaloosa. And this messed me up bad, was I saw a fucking dead dog. Use the right lane to exit right to I-59 North, I-20 East, Port Tuscaloosa. Looked like a German Shepherd. Not, not sure what happened, you know. I mean, obviously it got hit, but did it like jump out of a back of a truck? Somebody just dropped the dog off trying to get rid of it. That that hurt me a little bit right there but anyways um we're back on the road we got 439 miles to go and we've been going on average about 80 to 90 miles an hour even though the speed limit's only 70 most everybody else is doing the same damn thing but let me tell you something else crazy that i saw you were asleep babe when this happened continue straight for one hour and 38 minutes to exit 106 i-459 north port gadsden atlanta i was just resting my eyes oh well i was flying i was going 90. oh i was going 100 i'm not even gonna lie i was going almost 100 miles an hour and you know there was this diesel truck that comes up behind me uh, like a dodge diesel maybe it was a ford diesel I, I, I don't know what it was had one of those fabricated custom beds on the back of it so dude's behind me and he's rolling with me for just a moment and then we get caught up behind two slow cars this dude got in the median <laughs> got over in the median to pass these people and he was gone i was going 100 and you know he left me so I know damn well he was going every bit of 100, 120, 140 miles an hour. I never saw that dude again. And uh, yeah, man, on 95 and I-20, hey, man, people do not play. Get out the way. Hazard reported ahead. If you ain't, hey, if you ain't willing to play them reindeer games. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. But anyway, back on the road. Worst cup of coffee i ever had in my life. I've had better coffee <laughs> in worse places. That's for damn sure. Oh, damn, that shit tastes like soil. It does that bad. Yeah, it tastes like fucking planter's potter mix. <laughs> All right. Let's continue on. Bessemer, Alabama is where we are. Bessemer, Alabama. Wifey's gonna drive for a little bit. Uh, I'm not making fun of this place at all. What, what I do wanna say about this place is we walk into the Zaxby's and I had two different, uh, you know, brief encounters with a young guy in there and, uh, you know, a, a guy my age just basically saying, excuse me. And they both were like, excuse me, sir. And I was like, no, excuse me, sir. Man, super polite down here. You ready to move to Bessemer? No chance. So we're staying in Virginia. So you're saying there's a chance. Yeah. All right, so we're about to get back on the road. We got uh, about 300 and a little bit more than 300 miles to Greenville, South Carolina, where we're going to be staying tonight. Oh shit, on my wife's joint it says 283. So we're doing a we're little all better. Set. Let's go. Damn right, we're all set. Let's go. All right. I get to relax for a little bit. Is it boring riding? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's not. I got the pillow and everything, eh? <laughs> you want it? No, I'm good. All right, back on the road. Let's get to Greenville. Well, we got to go through Birmingham. Uh, if you don't know anything about Birmingham, Alabama, the USFL Football League is based out of Birmingham. And if we go through there, hopefully I'll get to see the same signs that we saw on the way there, uh, way through there, because they got that USFL 
plastered all over that place. They play at Turn right on Eastern Valley Road. UAB Thank Stadium. I-459 North Montgomery, Atlanta, Gadsden. Then exit right to I-459 North Montgomery, Atlanta, Gadsden. Turn right. Then turn right on Eastern Valley Road. Okay, man, we got it. Anyways, <clears throat> they play at UAB Stadium. Uh, and Birmingham does have a team. I think that they're undefeated. Right on Eastern Valley Road. Then exit right to I four. You know what? Never mind. I'll just talk with y'all later. Atlanta. We're getting ready to go experience Bucky's. Check this joint out right here. I don't know if it's a truck stop. I saw something about 20 feet of beef jerky. Bucky's. The adult version of the Chuck E. Cheese. I guess we would go right. I think I go here and turn here. Yeah, maybe something like that. Definitely a roadside attraction. I guess they've got a couple of these in Alabama. And we're getting ready to go experience one of these. And we tried to do this when we were going to Mississippi, but we missed the exit and it didn't, vehicle on shoulder ahead. it didn't really work out for us. So in 900 feet, use the left lane to make a U-turn on Parkway Drive Southwest. This looks like the spot to be. Holy moly, I've never seen so many gas pumps. Make a U-turn on Parkway Drive people. Southwest. Then use the right lane to exit right to I-20 East. Look at that Lamborghini right there. Maybe it's hers. Yeah, it's right there in front of you. Is that a Lamborghini or a, um, looks like a little Lotus, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a... I think that might have been the Lambo. I think it might have been. I don't know much about no cars, but it looked like something. So this is just a gas station is all this is. Mm -hmm. Might as well get some gas while we're here. Bucky's the spot to be. If we're going to take a road trip, we might as well see the roadside attractions. I wanted to be able to see the USFL signs, but we've already passed through Birmingham. And now we're going to hit Bucky's. Buckies. Hope they got a t-shirt and a hat. Folks, tell me you're in Alabama without telling me you're in Alabama. Bing bong. This thing is massive right here. You got the police positioned out here. Oh, look at the Buckies. You want a picture in front of that? Oh man, this joint reminds me of Christmas vacation. This joint is mine. Oh, we're definitely getting a Bucky shirt. Ford, let the freedom roll. I got to have a Ford shirt. Shit. Babe, getting that. You want a purse? What the Well, they got a little. Oh, there's the world famous beef jerky right there. We need a Bucky shirt. Oh, they got the poopery. You need that, babe. <laughs> 1, Order 1,000. There it is right there, babe. They got the Bucky's truck and they got the Bucky's blankets. Oh, man, we definitely getting. Shitting me, I'm getting the hat. <laughs> they got the Bucky shorts. What does it say? Life is short. Take a trip. Take the trip. That's pretty cool. They gotta have some better Bucky shirts than these, though. Let's get popping. All smiles and miles. Miles and miles of smiles. I got this. I got the tank top. 
What's the tank top for who? For me. Do you do you want a do you want a Bucky shirt? I'm okay. I think I'll pass. They got Bucky color on books. Bucky aprons. This is a big deal here. Will you hold this real quick, Beth? Yeah. I don't even know if this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm rocking this. I'm gonna rock the, the tank top. Shit, I definitely gotta get some beef jerky. I ain't never seen so much beef jerky. That's a damn grocery store in here. They got furniture, babe. <laughs> oh my God, they got the fudge. Hey man, this is an experience right here. If you're ever in the South, you gotta come to Bucky's. That's very nice. Look at that. You hold that real quick, Ben. Hey, look, Bucky's is hiring, y'all. We in Alabama. If you need a job, look at that joint, man. Sixteen to eighteen dollars an hour to be a cashier. No, they pay good here. All right, yo, we haven't even gotten gas yet, and we've already spent a hundred dollars at a <laughs> gas station. <laughs> but what an experience! This is by far the highlight of the trip. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. They got to do so much money here per day. Uh, this definitely is a spot to stop at. I don't know if I shared it or not, but thank you so much. But uh, this guy came in and he said, I live 30 minutes down the street and I've never been here. Do you believe that though? Yeah. Look at this thing parked behind us, the toy hauler. All right, we got to go right here, babe. All right, we're going to get some gas, get back on the road, and hey, like my wife said, this might just be the highlight of the trip right here. All right, almost to the hotel. We have been driving and driving and driving and stopping, too. Stopping, trying to stretch the legs. Just crossed over into South Carolina. And this is the craziest shit that I've ever seen in my life. You see them vending machines back there? All the vending machines are behind bars. They're all locked up. How you get the gumballs? <laughs> what in the world? Boy, all your vending machines locked up. That shit is crazy. Dang. They either got a major problem with people stealing money out the machines or the drugs are hellacious here. I'm sure it's a combination of both. All right, next stop, the hotel. We've made it to Greenville, South Carolina, where our hotel is at, right around the corner from here, I'm guessing. And just wanted to know, is it a nice area in Greenville? Or is it a kind of a bad area and so far I'm not really getting any sign of anything it looks like a cute little quaint area quaint I know the hotel looked nice from the from the Expedia pictures but you know pictures can be deceiving yes they can now. but anyways yeah this don't look too bad I wonder what the housing market's like here Word, it's been hell a riding today. A lot of riding, but we've made it. You feeling okay, babe? Yeah, I'm ready to get in bed. Yeah, we tired. We old. We super tired. 
We can eat Taco Bell tonight. They got Mexican pizzas. Dude. After two years, do you hear me? <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. They done brought back. They done brought back the Mexican pizzas. Okay. So if you've never been to Greenville, what do you? What is Greenville? Oh, that's how pretty the house is. Yeah. Uh, you know, or if you know anything about Greenville, what is Greenville, South Carolina, known for? Is there a college here? Is there? Is it expensive to live here? Is there a lot of work opportunities? What do people do here? Oh yeah, we look like we're getting up into the nice part. What's biscuit head? Probably exactly what it is, right? I have no idea. Home cooking. They got a community board right there. I can almost read that community board from here. Ah, what are they talking about? Carpooling to Alabama, to Hoover, to watch the college playoffs. They building this area up though. So I think this is the biggest city in South Carolina. I could be wrong. I think I remember reading something about that. He's backing up down a city street. No biggie. Oh yeah, it's dead down here too. And there ain't a there ain't a restaurant in sight. Folks, welcome to the Holiday Inn Express. Flip number five. That's become my thing. I guess I could have pulled right there, but this will work. We're here. Folks, welcome to the Holiday Inn Express in Greenville, South Carolina. We just checked in and we are already perplexed by the fact that they do not allow <laughs> the devil's lettuce. No cigarettes, no marijuana, and no heroin, I believe is what, no, that's a vape. That's a dab tin. <laughs> I don't know. I've been out the game for a long time. Oh, God. And it smells a little like marijuana on the floor. I said it smells a lot like marijuana on the floor. Okay, look at this. Damn right, it smells good in here. We got that king bed. Ooh, after a long day of traveling, too. They got the Uber Eats. I better not feel you all night in the bed. Huh? I better not feel you at all in the bed. You stay on your side, I stay on mine. Damn, babe. You want me to sleep in the chase? Huh? Little chase lounge? Cool deal. Nice room. We've been driving all day. Oh, they got a pool, though. I wonder if that shit's open. Come here. Sit on the bed. Is it comfortable? Ah, oh, shit. This joint feel like a prison mat. Sit right here. <laughs> <laughs> Sit right there. I guess this is my side, huh? Yep, that would be my side. <laughs> Damn, what do you feel? Like... Feel those springs? Yeah, I do. Whew. Okay, this is definitely the most uncomfortable bed from the whole trip, but it's not that bad. We'll take it. We will take it. They got a pool too, man. I'm about to go get me two of them Bud Lights out that fridge down there and go sit by the pool. You wanna go down there? No? You wanna relax? Yeah, we tired. All right, good deal. We can rest and recuperate. It's been a hell of a day. If anything, we got to go to Bucky's and God, I got a couple of shirts from there. All right, so uh, that's, all for, that's all for this. Um, exciting times traveling tomorrow. We'll be going back home. Uh, be good to get back home, get back into the swing of things. This trip has been good, and it's been, ah. Ain't been bad, but it's just been, ah. And uh, that's all I want to say in, in reference to that, or, you know, or about that. Uh, could have been a lot better, but it could have been a lot worse, too. So, I'm glad to be getting it done with. I'm glad to be getting ready to get, be, to be getting ready to go back home, to see the dogs, to go back to work. Yeah. To get rid of flip number four and five, flip number five, yeah, I got some houses I'm ready to go look at as soon as we get back. And folks, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll look forward to sharing more with you tomorrow. Until then, take care.